So now we're going to discuss putting the flexible tubes, mounting them onto the Z-axis motors. Uh, if you remember, the two Z-axis motors are the ones that have the um, just the vibration isolation uh, parts on there. And uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take the two flexible uh, tubes that we get out of the hardware pack and uh, there's two different ways that you can actually put these tubes on there you know eventually we're going to actually take it and we're going to take our z rods and mount them and uh, the tube will actually connect the uh the two together uh so what we're going to do right now we're just going to kind of put these aside we're not going to worry about them but to get the z motors on there there's an easy way and there's a hard way um the reason for the hard way is because its holding force is uh, off the charts. It's uh, um, very, very impossible to actually get the motor to separate from uh, the Z rods, but uh, the easy way, uh, if you want to take it, um, we'll show you that also. Okay, so to start off, um, what we're going to try and do is hold up the motor, and we're going to see about where the halfway point is, and we want a little bit of a gap in between um, where the threaded rod's actually going to hit this. So what we're going to try and do is just kind of look and see about where the halfway point is, and we kind of want to, you know, put our thumb there uh, just to say we want to give it at least an eighth of an inch gap. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to try and shove it on there uh, and see, and uh, it goes on there pretty snug. But what we're going to try and do, if you look, there is a D flat on there. So where that D flat is, we're going to take just a regular wire tie, and we're just going to clip it off there a little bit. And the truth is, we're just going to make it kind of short. All we want to do is just cinch up a little bit of that D um, flat that's on there. So get rid of that. And we're going to kind of slide that and hold it onto the motor and while we're holding it onto the motor which is a little difficult to kind of hold it out there a little bit further first and then we're going to go ahead and slide this on there and make sure that's still on the flat and we kind of kind of note before where our halfway point is you can kind of look up the tube if you need to and that actually by itself cinches it up pretty good you can see it's flared it out a little bit so anyway that's about where we want it because you can kind of tell with the little bump where it stops we're going to push it a little bit further on there okay now with that <clears throat> that cinches it up pretty good and then you can actually take uh, two more wire ties and go through and uh, wire tie them up and what you want to do is you want to have it so that you have enough space that you can get to these wire ties and you really want to kind of pull on the wire ties pretty tight these small wire ties don't have you can't put anywhere near as much force as you can on like the larger ones but the larger ones cannot grip all the way around this very uniformly so anyway you kind of cinch it up a little bit and we're going to do the second one. See, I actually put a little bit of stress mark on there, so that's actually kind of good. It's where we want to be. And we're going to do it again. And put another one on there. And you can either do it the opposite way, way or you can do it the same way. Um, you got different people believe different ways are stronger. You know what? Go with whatever suits you. So we're going to, same thing. Put some tension on this. And then we're just going to clip those off of there. And that way we have it and it's on there you know one of the things that you can do before you actually do that that actually holds it really pretty well I mean it's kinda hard to actually pull that off there once it's cinched on there so that's actually a pretty good method but one of the things you can do is if you want this is a precision ground shaft but you can actually take your pliers and kinda scuff it up a little bit it'll be the only time I actually ever tell you uh, to try and scuff up a precision ground shaft but just to muck it up a little bit, what that does is it gives it a little bit more uh, to catch onto uh, the vinyl tubing that's on here. Uh, because without it, it, it spins too much if you don't actually put uh, something in that D-flat there. Now here's the second method, uh, the method that I like, but it uh, requires a little bit more force to actually put it on there. Um, in order to do this, you don't actually uh, put anything on that D-flat. Instead what you can do so you're going to take your 5 16 inch nut you're going to take your vinyl tubing and you're going to actually thread that on to the vinyl tubing and so it's a little hard to do um, you know when you start out 
And so what you might want to do is take your pliers and kind of crunch it down a little bit. I mean, not much, and just kind of uh, twist it while you're in there, and that gives you a little bit of a starting point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this kind of as a um, as a threading die, and we're going to keep twisting this until it goes on there. And you got to really kind of work at it uh, to get it so that all of the pieces go on there. And if you have to, uh, you can always trim trim it a little bit and uh, give it a little bit of a, a release or a relief so that there's a, a hope of you actually getting the nut on there. And you really don't want to do this after it's on the shaft. You want to do it before it goes on the shaft. And by doing it that way, just using your little wire cutters, you know, then you get a, a little bit of a relief to it. And then uh, go ahead and try and thread this on there. And you want to thread it on there as far up there as you can. Try and get it squared up, hopefully. And it is difficult. So after you get it on there, uh, you want to kind of hold it as much as you can and twist it with the wrench so that you are really putting a whole lot of force just to even get it without the motor shaft even in there. It's just pretty hard to actually get that on there. Uh, if you can, you know, get it all the way on there for the full nut length. But if you can't, like I said, it is very difficult to do. So now that we have it there, if you want, you can leave it for a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to unthread that. And you can see it's actually cut sort of teeth in there. And that's a good thing. That's what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that nut back on here. We're going to put this on the D shaft. And before it has a lot of time uh, to actually uh, work, on, uh, work on it, then we're going to try and thread this back on there. So it's a little difficult to do to get it to start, uh, but you basically just keep twisting the shaft till it starts. And once it starts, then we are going to keep feeding this. So once you get it on there, the key is that it, this nut does not have to be squared up, although it would look a little bit better if it were. And if you want, you can pry it a little bit to try and get there. And so what you're going to do is you're going to actually keep threading that on there. And so basically if you can, usually what I do is I keep holding the wrench and then I twist this as much as possible, twist the, the vinyl tubing. And by doing that, eventually you get a holding force on here that nothing can actually pull that thing off of there. I mean, there is, it's, it's like having super glue on there. So anyway, I'd like to have the nut a little bit more squared up, but the truth is once that's on there, the holding force of this, you can't possibly pull it off. This one here, the holding force is pretty good too. So, you know, use the easy way if you want to. Um, if uh, you want higher holding force, uh, you can do it the hard way. Um, truth is, either of them will have more than enough force to hold it because you've got to realize that the whole X carriage is actually held by this. So, I mean, the truth is, um, if you put the little wire tie up and cinch up the little D slot that's in there, this method works really, really, really good. If you want super high force, this method is harder, but it actually works pretty good too. So anyway, it's your choice. Uh, either way, you need both of them done. Uh, do them both the same way. And uh, anyway, we'll go from there.